Hey everyone and welcome back to the channel. My name is Philly Beats You. If you watched the last video we did, we reacted to three trailers that Nintendo Japan uploaded. So if you haven't seen that, go ahead and check that out. It'll be somewhere up top on this video. But let's talk about the crazy thing that was in this trailer. This is about the Pokemon statues. Now we knew that you can dig to get them, but this trailer kind of revealed how to actually see them what they look like and how they open up like loot boxes which is which is kind of interesting so you have your, your character going in the underground here going into the wall digging out some stuff break 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 you get some you get a nice shard and then this this box over here it shows fighting type so when you see that box you know that you got yourself a fighting type pokemon if it's any other type it's going to be that type pokemon if it's water it's going to be water right so you get that box yeah, you break your shard open and then you have th th this this is insane so then you have a like a loot box it's like a totally different feature right you get this loot box in the game it opens up and boom it's a machamp okay but the crazy part is there's different variants of the statues you have regular statues and you have shiny statues so i think what's going to be insane about this is everyone's going to be underground digging 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 looking for the best statues that they can have and you got him a champ here so you're thinking it's maybe just you know one type now listen they talked about statues stating that a statue would attract that type of pokemon within it so if you get him a champ statue they're going to be attracting fighting type pokemon within the grand underground there's also shiny versions of these statues for example if you look at this <laughs> look at all these there's your Machamp you got a Weavile over here then you got a shiny statue now they never explain what shiny statues do yet I have no idea what they do yet maybe I didn't understand something in the Japanese trailer but hopefully there's an English trailer out soon but they say that the shiny statue does something that they couldn't talk about so we're gonna find out what it exactly does but look at all these statues that you have in this game it's incredible Rhyhorn we have Luxray, we have Psyduck, and all different types. So that means this trainer had to find the different boxes in order to do this. Now, I was watching more carefully, and this one blew my mind. It's literally every water starter up to Gen 4, which kind of deconfirms anything from Gen 5, 6, or 7 showing up. And I'm okay with that because it's it's sticking to what's in the game. It's totally fine. I mean, we literally have Blastoids, Alligator, Mudkip, and then Empoleon, and all their other pre-evolutions and then you have some secret shiny statues in here basically these would all boost water typing and again the secret of what this boost i don't know will this be able to actually make the actual pokemon show up is this how we're actually going to be getting our starters in the game via the underground because if that's the case this game is going to be making us focus a lot on being down in the underground so there's pedestal statues here there's regular statues where they're all just on the ground Right? And then here's your Empoleon, all that, and then your, your Piplup. And then all of a sudden, they have this Piplup spinning statue. So I'm not sure if these all have different effects, if they're if they're on a platform, if they're not on a platform, if they're green. I think these statues all have different things. Maybe they're going to bring out hidden abilities. Maybe they're going to bring out shiny Pokemon. Maybe they're going to bring out Pokemon with new moves. It's just very interesting stuff to see. And then after this part, they cut into the Pokemon hideaway that it goes into. Now, we don't know what exactly they did here, but you start to see Luxrays, you see Zubats, and you see Bidoofs, basically. And then they go through the hideaways and all the fun stuff here. Just like that. Look at that, the ice. And then we have a Teddy Arrester that shows up here in the trailer, which is really super cool. So I wonder if what the statue showed was actually what the Pokemon plus the types are going to be. So if you guys are very interested in the Grand Underground, I got two maps here. One map is labeled with everything within the game. And then the other map is a little bit of a secret that you have as you turn up the opacity, you start to see exactly the Grand Underground, which is layered right by the map and what exactly is underneath these towns. So again, this is really cool. It's fun. All I did was throw this on Photoshop and you just put up opacity and reduce it. And look at that. You can see exactly. It's an identical map that you can slap on the original map that they both provided on the website. So this is really cool. If you guys are interested in a copy of this, I will throw it on my Discord. So make sure to join the Discord and I'll have this up. I'll put the mid version so you guys can see everything underneath. And maybe this might determine exactly where you're going to get your statues and what kind of statues you're going to be hunting. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like. Also leave a like because this thing is super cool.
That's Nurse Joy over there. Subscribe and uh, let me know what your guys' thoughts are about the Grand Underground and these Pokemon statues. Are you going to be spending a lot of time in the Grand Underground? Because I am. Take care and I'll see you in the next video. This is Philly Beats You and I'm out.